the arch that we've been doing was the complete vanilla arch where nothing comes with it. We make every single decision. So with Black Arch, you don't make any of those decisions. It does, it's, it's already made everything for you. And obviously it's super easy to get up and running, but it also comes with a bunch of the tools. This screen should look very, very similar because it is. So MemTest86 is what is used in Arch. Um, I did run memory test on my machine over here. Hardware information, everything here is pretty much the same. Let's go and let's see what the install experience is like using Black Arch. So you remember when we were playing with that boot? Look right here, we got an Intel underscore U-code dot IMG that it's loading. There's the VM LNUZ dash Linux is okay. So it's a Gothic version of Manjaro. <laughs> it's basically Kali with all the pen tools. Yeah, that's true. This is exactly the same as what we were just looking at. Here is Black Arch. This is the live user. This looks like there's like an other that we could use. So let's go into like a live CD. Black Arch, just totally guessing. I wouldn't think the password would be uh, too hard to figure out. Okay, so this is pretty fast. Let's go display and load up some of our display drivers. Switch over to a 14, 19, 20. Close on this one. Wait, let's go keep this configuration, close. So let's go to our terminal here and let's see what we got. Oh, look at this. They have that transparency stuff built in. We didn't have to configure it. Look, they completely ripped off Mac. <laughs> Should a little minimize, uh, except for they do have a, uh, a command bar down at the bottom. You know, honestly, I kind of like the command bar down there. So let's do a few little things. Let's go LSB underscore release dash A here. I always do that wrong. LSB 1.4, we've got Arch, Arch Linux. It says rolling and then NA. So I'm guessing, right? This has like Pac-Man on there. Which cell is this? So we're gonna do which uh, dollar sign zero. So SBN, and so we do have our Z shell. I don't think they've turned things on like auto completion, have they? And let's see, CD downloads, CD. No, they don't have auto completion or a few of those other things on. We can go look, right? We can go cat and this is Z S H R C. And oh, look at this. Actually, I'm kind of impressed. Uh, they already have a whole pile of these aliases already set up for us. These must have been from some of like the best of aliases. Uh, they got some colors in here. They're only keeping a little bit of the history. Uh, what plugins do they have? Bind keys. I don't need all this crap in the background. I just want to know what these icons are and what these icons mean. And right now I'm looking at all this blue text on the back. I don't really know if I would enjoy that or not. Yeah, and this Arch Linux logo is a bit too much. I'm sure if we come over and we go into like their displays or maybe like their desktop settings, they probably have a whole number of different types of like backgrounds and stuff. So this one gives you three. When we were playing with Fedora, they gave you a ton of those things. Uh, and I'm not saying one's better than the next. And then this one right here. Okay, I could deal with this one. I think I can make this one work. Well, let's let's take a quick tour and see what else do we have in here. So we're gonna go to the menu here. Okay, so by default, they also put Firefox on here. A file manager, which we haven't looked at it just yet. I guess we can go and look what this display manager is. This looks like it may be like, is this like a pimped out, like XFCE? Actually, I mean, this actually isn't too bad right here. You got documents, pictures, downloads. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, these icon colors aren't too bad. We have got terminal emulator, recently used. This is actually helpful. All applications. Yeah, it's definitely XFCE because uh, we see all of our XFCE stuff right in here. We have accessories. Let's see what's in accessories. What I'm looking for is I'm looking to see what all tools came on this CD. So let's go about FWM. So, okay, so XFCE, we've got a panel here. So basically they just put a bunch of stuff on top of it. The panel for Windows buttons, uh, desktop manager. Uh, they got a file manager popped in here, a volume manager, session manager. We've seen this icon many times before. 
uh, system settings. So basically everything that comes with XFCE4. So for development, they just have CMake, which is normally installed. So those of you that use Kali would be used to this one. So they have Black Arch, and then inside of that, so they've got Fern Wi-Fi Cracker, Hashcat. There's John, John the Ripper, which we've used a few times over here. Let's see what else do they have. So automation tools, a custom wordless generator. Uh, let's see, that was for cracking. For crypto, they've got hash identifier. There we go. So now it's like, help, help me identify the hash. So you get all of this, you know, there's no installation of any of these tools. I will say one thing that is a bit helpful with this is, is that you can look through some of these tools and learn stuff that you didn't know even existed. There's the debugger. Let's see what they've got there. GNU, defensive, INET SIM, disassembler, fingerprint, forensics. Okay. PDF parser. There's a fuzzer there. There we go. So a uh, burp suite is already on there, which is nice. Hey there, yay is already installed. Uh, there's some networking stuff in here. Let's look at the reversing. Uh, oh, there's not as many reversing stuff. Uh, scanners, sniffers, web apps. There is DR Hunt. Okay, hey, there's GoBuster. Wireless, Aircrack NG, which is one I would expect to be on here. Uh, okay, so I, I think there's, I mean, it's just typically the, the tools we thought that were going to be in there. They have graphics for internet. Oh, look at this. And then there's this hex chat right here. Chat with other people online. I've never used this before. Multimedia. This is this icon's a complete ripoff. Is it not from like Apple's icon? <laughs> uh so they are also using Pulse Audio. I had to install Pulse Audio on my Arch instance to get my sound to work. Looks like it's also on here ready to go. Settings. Settings manager, all oh, this is typical stuff. Clipboard settings, display, notifications. Oh, cool. It actually comes with the uh, Windows Manager tweaks. Bulk rename, HTOP, show system processes. Open JDK, so that's the Java uh, development kit. OPH crack, file system, X, UX term, XFCE terminal, and then just an X term down there. I don't know, I don't know. Like, it's hard to even recommend, uh, even, I even have a hard time with Kali sometimes, even though as a Kali user for years, they're great if you want everything already handled for you and you just want pen testing tools and you're ready to rock and roll in, in an hour. Um, you won't have an underlying knowledge of the operating system using these Kali or using Black Arch, but you can get up and running. And if being productive, <laughs> I hate to say this, this is crazy. In my opinion, uh, if you're being, if you want to be super productive, you know, and just get to your work, these tools is really great for you. But if you really want to know all the underlying, yeah, you may or may not want to use one of these distros. Hopefully that helps out there. They've kind of like, you can see it's almost kind of like a rip off of a bunch of different operating systems. So, You've kind of got the windows look and fill up here with like your little trash can. You've got your really your look little start button down here at the bottom. If you're using like Mac OS, well, you may enjoy these little buttons. So yeah, I don't know. It's a little bit of like both worlds. So thank you all. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.